What's going on everybody? Happy Thursday, happy Thursday. So, a little bit of a different type of video. Somebody uh, sent me a message on this. And it's basically the same card sells through Probstein four times in two months and it's back up again. And it's pretty insane when you start reading through all the comments. And a lot of times, I don't go through 500 plus comments onto something because... It would just take forever to read on to it and through it. Uh, but with this here, it's definitely eye-catching. I mean, we've already seen PWCC get the boot for shilling. I'm wondering how soon before Probstein now gets it because this is this is pretty blatant. I mean, I'm going to pull up the subreddit here just to show you guys. Let me blow that up just a tad. All right, maybe not. Oh, I don't know what I just hit. Try again here. There we go. All right. So, same card sells to Probstein four times in two months. That's the card one hundred one. Zion Eminence with Rui Hachimura uh, one hundred one auto. And, I mean, you start going through, everybody's starting to do their research now, which is outstanding. Because this is how you catch this stuff. Last three bidders have, you know, actually, yeah, three bidders have all of that plus bid activity associated with the seller. Now, granted, some people might be prop steam, you know, whatever you want to call them, favorites or whatever. But still, that starts showing the flag up in there. And by looking at this stuff, you start getting an idea of what's going on. And uh, somebody else wrote something down here onto it. I'm just trying to find it again here quick. <laughs> can, can spell consignment without the con. <laughs> All right, that, that's a good one. I give him credit for that. Somebody was talking about it was a few different people that were doing it and everything. Some people were claiming money laundering. <laughs> I don't think we're still doing that on there. That, that was the olden days. Um, it, it could be the buyer with multiple, or the guy, you know, uh, the seller that's consigning this stuff, having multiple accounts, or having friends do it as well, too. But I'm going to pull it up here in a second. There was something else on here. Ah, we're not going to keep scrolling through it. <laughs> It'll take forever to find them. All right, let me pull this up. Boom. All right, so here we go. It's the same card four times. July 13th, sold $9,088. August 2nd, $69.55. August 19th, $5,700. September 6th, $6,500. Just to show you all I'm not uh, way off. It's back up right here, $3,000 with five days left. I haven't really checked a whole lot of this stuff. Um, well, the active one. But I was in this, the first one sold. Actually, you guys can tell by the color and the hyperlink thing there. Do it with one one feedback. One feedback. And you just do it with 577 feedback. That's what you guys got to look for is the 577. So when I click on to do with the one feedback, it says he has 0% activity of the seller, which is really odd. I'm guessing that account got banned or something because there's nothing to display on it. Now we go back to do a 577, 56%. So items bid on 151 over 80 of them are through him right here. And you can just start going through and looking at the stuff and it gives you all the craziness down here. And we're going to look at 1642, 100%. Now, this here could be correct. I mean, the guy might just be one of the bigger spenders out there. Caught it on a Probstein email or something. Like, I got to have this card. But only having two items, or items bid on only two, it doesn't really red flag me because I see how they do their stuff. And if this would flip back, there we go. But, all right. So, we see that was the original one. So, we're going to remember the one and the 577. Back one more. I had these wrote down and then 
I was taking orders on Bowman Chrome. All right. Thirty-nine bids. This is the second one. So here's the five seven seven guy right here again, and we'll show you it's the same person. Fifty-six percent, same numbers up here. Then we see. All right, let me just do this. Five seven seven's been on one two. All right, we had uh, one one two five. We're gonna look at. And this is how I do it. I mean, I just make up my own sheets. 30%. He does a lot of bidding, it looks like, through Probstein. Which might be possible. We'll mark him down, though, just to see how often he's bidding on this. And you can usually see who's really involved into this stuff. Uh, 156. Oops, one, one too many back. Uh... We'll hit the 79, dude, too. 79. And 4235. That, that's a lot of bids there. Come on. Pull up this one. This is odd here, too. When I start seeing the 0% here, but yet we know he's bid on it. But this is the dude I wanted to see. 4235. Huh. Say bear, too. All right, let's go back. We're really looking for the dude with the 577 right now, seeing if that's the to what I would think would be the owner of the card. But again, it could be a group of people that's doing this too. You never know offhand. See, 577 is not even on this now. But you start looking at this stuff, and it just makes you wonder, just by the percentages and the numbers... It just starts not adding up right across the board. Bid retractions, this dude's had one. That's a big thing to look at when you're doing these. Alright, so we know 577, we didn't really see him in there. Let's go back one more. But it's kind of weird this thing's gone unpaid this long. And see all kind of different stuff on here. Do it 19, 44, over 50%. That's probably a 50 something they were talking about. Alright, we're going to go back to the original one here. But, yeah, for five times being on here and not being paid for the first four, it just really starts questioning it. And something that's a one-on-one, you know, like I said, people have multiple eBay accounts. It's bad. <laughs> very, very bad. I mean, they'll use anybody or tell their buddies to do it to give them a the help on to their stuff to get it pushed up to where they're at. But... You know, the first one, it went for like 9000 with a dude with a one feedback. He probably legitimately didn't buy it. But when you start looking at it overall, something's just not right by this at all. I, I just don't see a card on bids this much doing on the fifth time already going this way. And big differences in price. You figured a dude who got it for 5700 would have paid for it. That's pretty much like, what, 40% off of this, roughly? 30, 40%? Probably closer to 30% off onto that. And uh, not paid for. It just keeps bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. And like I said, the Reddit forum was the one to pick this out, and somebody led me on to it. And if you just start looking at some of the comments on it here and stuff, it's just, it's, I don't want to say it's funny, but... I mean, it just really starts getting interesting. But I, what it caught me was people are actually checking now to see for shield bidding, which is a good thing. Very good thing. So what do you guys think? Was it shield bid? Is it possibly that four different people didn't pay for this card up here? And now it's going up for a fifth time? I'm just curious what everybody's thoughts are onto this. 
Um, it, it, it's it's definitely up there with a lot of uh, notice now because, like I said, this has been posted on Reddit. Um, I don't know how you can tell how many views it's had. 77 comments on to it. But I'm not a real big Reddit person when it comes down to this stuff. But I thought I'd bring it up to see what everybody else thinks on to it. Maybe somebody on here is the owner of it and can say, hey, people are just not paying for it. I don't know. I, I don't know who the owner of the card is. I don't even know who pulled, you know, if it went break group or somebody bought a personal of it or something like that. All right, everybody, something different, though. I wanted to just bring it up because I'm sure this is going to start poking up in all the social media here soon. Because this came out a day ago onto this. I'm sure it's going to be plenty of talk on Instagram, probably Twitter, Facebook groups, and stuff like that there. Um, to me, it, it's fishy. It really is. I thought we were going to crack the 577 dude, though, saying that he's been, you know, bidding on it all. But then again, the person doing it could have multiple accounts bidding it up or having his buddies do it. Just saying, don't worry about it. Don't pay for it. You know, I, I there's all kind of, you know, ideas that come in my mind. Even, But to have four times straight somebody not pay for it is just really odd to me. All right. I'll be looking through the comments, see what everybody thinks on to it. Don't forget, live Friday night, overtime, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Me and Joey are going to start it off half hour earlier. Since we're starting to get back to where we get less light out there, it's getting darker out and stuff. A little bit earlier, we might try to get by the end of the year pushing like maybe 10 o'clock, 9.45. Still try to keep it a little bit later in the evenings just so we can hit everybody across uh, east to west coast and everything. Alright everybody, take care of a good week. Catch y'all next video.